Well, good day, everyone, and welcome to Diamond Art with Dell. Today, I have a little unbagging to do of one huge DP that I have got from Shop Any Deals. So, this video is dedicated just to this one large uh, diamond painting I got in a recent haul from Shop Any Deals, and I'll show you some more of that hoard uh, shortly. But I want to just dedicate this single video because it's such a big piece and I want to look at it really well with you guys together. So as much information as possible will be in the description down below and I hope you enjoyed this video. So without further ado, let's unbag this beauty. So it's a big one. So I'm trying to make as much space as possible on my desk and I'm hoping, um, I really am hoping that I can get a good high shot of this all together. If not, we'll pan it through and we'll see what happens. <laughs> let's put it that way. So let's take it out of the sleeve. So plastic bag sleeve. Of course, it was all in a big plastic bag with a couple other friends. It has got some bubble wrap on it. That's different. I haven't really had a bubble wrap one before. Like just bubble wrap, not the. Hang on, oh, gotta pop it. Um, usually those opaque white sleeves are bubble wrapped, so this is just just bubble wrap, bubble wrap. All right, it's really heavy, big burrito, so a little bit mush there, but it's okay. It's only on the ends, so it shouldn't affect me too much. As such, a bit squish. Bit squish. They flatten out pretty well usually. So now I have one a big burrito. Gonna check them all out together. Oh, sort of anticipation to unroll these things is exciting, isn't it? Alrighty, so we are going to unroll and I have it upside down, of course I do. Are we ready? Da -da. Da -da. And it's not going to stay in shot while I unroll it because it is huge. This is a Humongo DP. It is 100 by 55 centimeters. Yep, you heard me correctly. That's a big DP. And for the bigger DP, I have a kit with lots and lots of wax. <laughs> so they're obviously expecting me to go through a lot of wax with this one and I probably will but not that one all right so as you can kind of see it's a bit glary at the moment with ang angle wise but I'm going to try and fix it up the best I can I have a humongo gigantous bag of drills these are round drills so that's awesome I like rounds as you can see that's huge and we'll probably get into that real soon but let's have a look at this canvas and see what I can rolly scrolly out for you and try and get as best I can into full image it is landscape view and it is of some beautiful reindeer so this will be gorgeous this season coming up some beautiful reindeer out in their snowy forest and I'm just going to try and span around I'm sorry it's glaring like you wouldn't believe you can see a beautiful big tree up there and there are the beautiful reindeer and it goes on to the nice backgrounds and so forth now I'm just sort of eyeballing this and there is so much color blocking which is kind of cool because such a big DP you know it'll help me get through that I really would like to do some of this but I've got so many other projects going on at the moment so it's going to have to sit on the backfire Back burner, I should say. Not the back fire, <laughs> don't burn it. <laughs> I'm going to put this one on the back burner <laughs> for a little while um, and give it a good chance to straighten out and so forth. I found a really great place. It's actually underneath all these cloths under this table. So it sits under there for a while and it'll straighten out. But it would be awesome to have a crack at this real soon. 25 colours. So that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, you usually do have more colours and rounds than you do square, so um, to help with that definition. So let's see. Um, first we'll go up and then we'll go down, shall we? So we'll go up as high as I can. 
and we'll try and get as much of the image in here as I can. Ooh, that's interesting. Be careful. It's got two plastic covers. And just a slight lift should hopefully hold off the glare and hopefully we can see a bit of that. Down the top. Okay. All right, now we're going to come back down and I'm going to have a look at this really close. Like really close. Alrighty, so let's go up here where we got the details. Let's share the details. So let's look at the details. Um, 100 by 55 centimeters as I mentioned. So it's a humongo canvas. We have our thumbnail image there, which is not going to do a lot for me, I don't think, really. Gives you a whoopsie daisy, gives you a bit of an idea. We have our colors down the side and symbols and DMCs. Brief look tells me I have all letters there for my symbols. So that's cool, and 25 colors. So that's not bad, eh? Not too bad. Now, we're gonna get really close and we're going to look at the symbols. And you can see they're really nicely printed. This is a little bit Oh, not too bad once you get the glary stuff off it. Look at that, that's better. A little bit dark maybe, but it's only here and there, so it should be pretty good. Just keeping that glare down. Sorry, I'm wobbling the table when I'm really close, it seems to do that. And it doesn't seem to be moving, but... Ah. Okay. So as you can sort of see, very, very clear drill field. Some of these colors in the darker sections may get interesting, but it's not too much of that to worry about. I'm just gonna try and scoop through at a reasonable pace. So we can have a look at different sections there. But as you can see, it is really nicely printed. It's just some of these parts where the trees are. Once you sort of get rid of that glare, you can see it's not too bad. So all in all, I think it's very good. Very, very good. And as you can see, a lot of color blocking sections. There we are, all the C's there. Lots and lots of color blocking. So that might just help me get through this big DP. All right, so let's zoom up a bit. We'll come back out of there a little bit. This is the main part of the diamond painting is the detail here of these guys in the snow. Have a bit of a look at those guys, those little uh, reindeers. It's the mama and papa of those and bubba. And we've got some trees and so forth up in here. So that is pretty much your canvas, guys. So that's looking really nice. So that canvas looks really nice. Really happy with that. And it should straighten out fairly well once we sit it down under the, the weights. And it's quite um, pliable. It's not real stiff type canvas. So that's, that's probably going to help um, for it to settle down. I'll just pop that to the side for the moment and we'll have a look through the drills together real quick. Alright, so looking through the drills real quick, as you can see it is a big, big, big strip. But then it's a big painting. Sprinkling alerts. All right, it's crinkling over, almost. There we have it. This is huge. 
All right, where do we start with this big ribbon? Now obviously there's some of 25, you've got quite a lot of that. One of the background colours there. So two big ribbons. Two big ribbons. Two huge ribbons of drills. And I think they're going to be pretty good. So I'll just have a bit closer look, shall I? There we go. Oh, that is a very close look at the drills there. <laughs> nice round drills. We're going to just start here with this blue packaging at number one. Yeah. Put it the right way for you to have a look at that. So you've got all your details on these packets. As you can see, there and there. Kinda. If I can get the glare the right way, there we go. So DMCs and so forth on these packagings. But I'm just going to scoot one to one, two, three, right through. So we're just going to have a quick look through all these um, drills real fast. As you can see, decent quality there. We've got some beautiful blues. There's going to be a lot of these tanny colours. There's two of those. Some peachy colours, some browns for those reindeers, I assume. We're going to have a lot of grey like this because we've got a lot of colour blocking of the same colour obviously. A um, bit of brown more for those guys as well. So because it's got such a big snowy background, it's going to have a lot of greys, um, grey bluey colours and so forth through this one. The trees are going to come through as a blue and purpley colour as they shadow. So that's 16. So where is the 17? That's 17. And this nice sort of greeny tinge to it. So two of those as well. Another two of this mauve. Three of those mauve, is it? Yep, three of 18. 19. Uh, 20 has got three of those lots and lots of that cream color yep going through going through where are we up to now slightly different is 22 and 23 really nice more browns and this is 25 I believe yep and it's a background colour, so we have one, two, three, four of the white colour for the background. A little sky or somewhere. So a lot of that. But as you can see, they're really nice, so I don't think I'll have any trouble placing them. Yeah, there we go. So that's pretty much it. There is a lot, a lot of drills in this um, diamond painting. It's going to need a really big kit up box or something. But yeah, I think it's going to look pretty awesome. Pretty awesome when finished. So there you have it. This big 100 by 55. Beautiful diamond painting. I'm going to have to find somewhere to lay it flat and let it settle down. And somewhere to store all these drills somewhere. And then hopefully get to it sooner than later on that piece. So there we are, we've had a big a look through that really big DP together. I hope you enjoyed looking through this giant piece from Shop Any Deals. And I like to I'll end the video here and say thank you everyone for watching. Uh, Bead your life beautiful diamond art. This is Diamond with Dale signing out. Stay safe and be well and have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Until then, bye.